Hello friends, welcome back to another Alphalic Sesh with me, AVB. This is part two of the Aurora Plus overview. If you have not seen part one, I would strongly encourage you to check it out. The link should be somewhere at the top. And in that one, we cover what is Aurora, what problem is Aurora Plus trying to solve, why this really matters for mass adoption, and all the basic features from the release. On this one, we're going to do a step-by-step -step on how to sign up to Aurora Plus. So I'm going to keep the blog post on the right, the because I think the design is very zen. I enjoy being lost in space. I guess those are the painkillers speaking. And on the right, we're going to have the Aurora Plus website. So as you can see, the main Aurora website is aurora.dev. That is where you can find all the blogs and all the information. Aurora Plus has a new domain, which is still pretty good. It's got very clear value proposition and explainer video information about the Aurora NFTs we covered in the previous video. And finally, a very clear call to action. Sign up in the next six days, 13 hours and 34 minutes to get an Aurora airdrop. So let's sign up right now so that you can all get that airdrop. So you can click on claim your free account or sign up. Both will take you to the sign up window. As you can see, I already started the process, although I stopped to do the recording. So you'll see that my MetaMask is connected up here. All you have to do is enter your email and it will send you a confirmation code. Then once you receive the confirmation code, you'll be able to log in. What I really like about the login is that you can see how it starts to create a unique experience for an EVM. So when you want to log in, you can either do so with your email and it sends you a link, which all you have to do is literally click on it and then you're in or you can enter with your MetaMask. I've actually tried doing both. I'll do the MetaMask now, just because it's faster. But you can see how for mass adoption and everyday users, someone like my sister or my mom will probably most likely just use their email and boom, they are on the Web3 Metaverse. So step number one, let's get you set up. Looks like you already have the Aurora network in MetaMask. Good on you. Yeah, boss. However, to benefit from free transactions, you need to replace the network with your new personalized Aurora Plus network. Okay, show me how. Step two, start by switching to another network in MetaMask. The currently selected network can't be removed. So let's switch to another one first. It doesn't matter what network you choose as long as it is not Aurora. Okay, so we go to MetaMask. I'll choose whatever Ethereum. And then continue. Now remove your current Aurora network. MetaMask doesn't allow having two networks with the same chain ID. So let's remove the old one to make space for your new Aurora Plus network. Okay. So I go to MetaMask, Networks, Aurora, and I guess click on the X. Delete. Now just to clarify, it is showing me these steps because, so this is the original screen that I saw that prompted me to add Aurora Plus network originally. If you are using Aurora for the first time or installing Aurora Plus for the first time, you'll go straight to this screen. The workflow that I just went through is only necessary if you already had Aurora installed. So let's approve, switch network. Awesome, it works. So we can check on MetaMask that we're in. I'm in network Aurora Plus, beautiful. Welcome to Aurora Plus. You're ready to begin using all the benefits of Aurora Plus. We hope you enjoy the experience. I hope this is as exciting for you as it is for me. This is actually my first time. So I guess we get to live this experience together. Pow! Awesome. So this is what the Aurora Plus dashboard looks like. It's looking pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It seems like the Aurora price has actually recovered a fair bit. Let me just quickly go to CoinGecko and see. The market seems to be recovering, which is great. But I suspect that Aurora is... Damn, 34% increase. Yeah, understandably. Aurora Plus really is a huge announcement. Yeah, that's when I saw it last. It was 350. We'll timestamp this video. It's 478. Let's hope I can publish it and you can all get in as soon as possible. So the second thing that we'll notice other than the price is the total APR. And, oh, that's awesome. So it has a breakdown of the APR by token. So by putting, oh damn, this is actually pretty good. So you get 693% of Aurora tokens, 25% of Origami, 2.62% Trisolaris. Come on, tree guys. 
chucking a little bit more. Do it at least double digits. Yay. And 30% Bastion and 290% USN. This is a pretty good deal. The two things you'll see on the left is that I am a pleb and I have not yet put any Aurora in. We will do so in a minute. And it shows you both the balance available on your wallet and how much you have staked. Just to keep adding to the user experience and these are the things that really get me going. It has a really clear call to action. It identifies that we don't, don't have any inner wallet and we don't have anything to stake or unstake, but it has a button right there to take us to somewhere where we can buy some Aurora. So why not? Let's do it now. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So without having to leave the dashboard, it gives me the option to buy Aurora right here using a Trisolaris. That's actually super dope. So given the transactions are now free, I guess I need less Ethereum. So I'll buy 0.01 ETH worth of Aurora. It's not much Aurora, but that's fine. I'll top it up later. Swap. Yaddy. Oh, except frame swap. Oh, sometimes it does that. Motherfucker. Okay, let me just refresh. Okay, whatever. We'll go to Trisolaris directly. And Trisolaris got pounded. Maybe that's why they're not giving away. Awesome. So now we have some Aurora. I'll just refresh. Awesome. That's pretty cool. So we can see how that transaction was free. It automatically shows me how many transactions I've got remaining. And it now shows me my new available balance. So let's stake it all. Proof Aurora. How much do you want to stake? Your staked Aurora auto compounds. That's actually pretty good. And you also receive rewards from ecosystem projects. Awesome. Let's take it all. Confirm. Awesome. So we can see how the number of free transactions keeps going down. Oh no. But we can see our updated staked balance. And if we keep scrolling down, I actually really like that it shows us the ecosystem streams. I actually love the way that this is designed. It's gamified so you can see in real time all this APR from all these projects as it starts streaking in. I can see people coming back to this dashboard to check on their APR and to see how much of this token has accumulated. It's a very subtle heuristic, but as long as the numbers are going up, it's all good. Like for instance, one bus here, it's like one cent. So the fact that you've only accumulated 0.0011, it's not really much in dollars terms, or I guess a more specific example would be 0.0001 USN. But just to see these numbers slightly tickling up, it's really exciting. Now that we've established that the dashboard is basically gamified for users to keep coming back regularly, we can see how this becomes prime real estate. And this is really relevant with the section here of featured apps. What this means, and this is an argument that I've always made about the centralized exchanges and the farming page, is that high traffic websites where users can discover new projects are extremely valuable. I have no idea what the process is to determine which projects come in here, but I think that we can expect any project that lands on this page to be able to enjoy a lot of traffic. And I can actually see in real time how this is really helping me discover new projects that I had never heard of. We Piggy, I was aware of, but I've never used. Top crypto coins and NFT creator, subscription app with proprietary algorithm for crypto investing, never heard of it. XP network, never heard of it. Chocomint, Arkin Finance, I'd heard of, but I haven't looked much into it. This page alone is providing me with the beginning of a lot of journeys that I can now go down and discover new projects. Why not? In fact, I'd say that Aurora Plus has primed me. I'm in a good mood. I'm making money. I have experienced how good Aurora is. And now we've got the perfect launch pad to pages. If I were the Aurora product and design team, I would actually suggest that projects can basically pledge Aurora tokens, either staked or burned or whatever. So you basically pay to be featured here. That would be a really nice add to the tokenomics. As always, in a way that Aurora excels, there is a little button, a very convenient call to action, where you can see all the apps of the Aurora ecosystem. This is probably one of the best and most important pages that you want to bookmark, aurora.dev slash ecosystem. This is where all the projects are listed and you can filter them by sections. 
Scrolling back up, let's meet the Aurobots. Okay, so the Aurobots are not live yet, so we can't meet them. However, you will notice that there is a link that can be shared. I believe this is a referral link, and the more people that you refer, you earn an Aurobot. So what I propose that we do, you and I, Alpha Leaks people, let's try to gamify this. I, re I reckon we can win. What we'll do is I'll share the referral link and hopefully anyone watching this video, if you haven't already subscribed to Aurora Plus, use it so that my chances of winning the Aura Bot increase. But I am not as greedy as some people think. What we'll do, this is my commitment, this is publicly, we can shake hands up there in the air. If you win the Aura Bot, I'll give it away to people. We'll find out some criteria, but people that obviously engage with this video and engage with my Twitter account and the channel more broadly. So let's see if together we can join forces and get at least one of these 111 Aura Bots, and then I would be more than thrilled to give it back to the community. Now let's browse the collection. Look, the pretty they're pretty cool. Like they're kind of weird. I like it. The they're all unique. You can definitely see the Mr. Brown vibe to it. And I like the I really like them. I want one. Oh my god, this one has a where is it? This one has a rainbow bridge on its head. That's amazing. 75 and 80. I want those. And finally, the Aurora drop. It is not entirely clear to me what it is asking for a mobile phone to claim the airdrop. I guess we could find out later. What it is important is that you sign up for your free account over the next six days or depending when you're seeing this video as soon as possible. So look out for the referral code down in the comments section and let me know if you join Aurora Plus, what you think about the new offering, what you think about the interface. That's it for me today. Thanks so much again for watching and have fun.